Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at this transformer. It is a Megatron. Uh, it's like an offshoot Megatron. So you'll see what I mean. Let's open it up. Check it out. All right. Welcome back to Triple R. Transformers for, for Cybertron trilogy. Uh, Megatron character in here. Combat Megatron. So I've seen these on Amazon. Uh, this one was 20 bucks, marked out from 30 At least that's what it said at Ollie's. Uh, I think they're around 20 or 24 on Amazon, but kind of like when you find it out in the wild, it's more of a, I think more of a buy or more of a get. So we're going to open it up here. And luckily they had one open because someone opened it, unfortunately, but I was able to see what it was. So this Megatron will look a little bit different than your normal Megatron. But I thought it was kind of cool. So it looks very knockoffish. But there he is in some kind of weird camouflage, gray and green um, <laughs> paint scheme there. So the box is pretty cool. A little extra art on there. Um, there's the instructions how to transform them. So of course, current Megatron transforms into a tank instead of a gun, which I kind of think makes a little more sense, to be honest. I mean, I mean Galvatron was also a tank. All right, let's pop them out. I'm not going to transform them because it feels a little on the brittle side. Let's see. Um, yikes. Oh, the stupid little things here. All right, let's cut those out. These aren't <laughs> very strong, seems like. That's good. Now we're getting under it. Kind of a problem. All right. Oh, man. Well, got that out. Hands are tied in. Okay. This is really stupid. Right, whatever. All right. head up a little bit there so you can see it. I mean I didn't need a Megatron for my collection. Uh, the more I look at this one the more I would say it's kind of you could probably pass on it I think. <laughs> I don't know. I mean this is Megatron right here. Um, it's not the most sturdy feeling thing. It's very plasticky. Okay, tank wheels here. Um, take this off here. This is thing is like holding the whole thing together. Yeah, definitely, in my opinion, not worth 20 bucks. I was excited when I saw it. it looked a little bit better in the package, I think. Um, Cannon. It'll look better with one of those cannon, maybe, right? We can hope. Maybe. Let's 
Okay. That helps. Not much, but it helps. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. I like the tank, that looks kind of, kind of bad. It's probably going to make them back heavy, I bet. So, let's see, go in. No. Yeah. Kind of shocked, actually. Kind of shocked that he stands well. I don't know, this sword looks stupid. <laughs> to me, I think it looks dumb. Not a fan of that sword. Let's see. Alright. So, like I said, I'm not going to transform him because. I don't want to break it, I think it can be heavy handed at some times, it doesn't feel like the sturdiest of things. Fusion cannon, laser strike launcher, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of, kind of lame, I don't think I'm going to have them hold that, actually. Cannon's fine. I'm tempted to get some paint for this and just try to customize it. Yeah, looks very, very knockoffish. So I would say save your twenty bucks and maybe you just pay the extra ten or so to get an actual gray Megatron or the Galvatron that's coming out. Or it's it's out now. Looks good. So just to be the packaging to look for, to be aware of. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. And I would say, again, maybe pass on this Megatron. This is <laughs> this is a big name tag. In case you, in case you can't tell who he is, which could be the case.